Hello friends and welcome back to Vintage Sports Shack and welcome back to another episode of Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> no, welcome back to another episode of Wing It Wednesday. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a uh, PSA preview submission and talk about a grail card. Uh, seen some of that talked about a while back so I wanted to address that. So as always, stand up, stretch out, because away we go. All right, guys, today I wanted to talk about uh, grail cards. I was doing a submission to go to PSA, and uh, it hit me, you know, about some things that were talked about a while back, grail cards, and if it's under $500, and so I wanted to address that. Uh, but before I get to that, a couple things. Uh, first... The contest, the gentleman that won the contest, Michael Bruce, contacted me. Uh, someone in his family is having some heart issues. He's not be able to make it. So, we're going to draw another name. But, Michael, uh, hopefully everything's okay. And I'm sorry you can't make it. So, number two person, hopefully you can make it. And if you guys can't make it, that's fine. I'll go to the game myself, still record a video, and it'll still be fine. And the winner is the Bargain Box Collector. And if you can't make it, the third and final person, Jason Curran, 5666. So, Bargain Box, get a hold of me quick. You get a hold of me through Instagram, guys, and uh, we'll figure out who's going. But if he wants to go, he's first. If not, Jason, you, you're you more than welcome. Like I said, if nobody wants to go, I'm going myself. I will enjoy the game and eat a hot dog and do what I do. Second, um... I've been trying to think of some ideas for, I know, paper towel. That's right. That's all I had at the moment. And I didn't want to lose my train of thought. So I started writing down some things. I wanted, you know, one of this uh, grail card things was one of the things I did want to talk about. So I've been writing some things down. I watched six hours of baseball card documentaries over the holidays. So I got a lot of things I want to talk about. And go over through the new year. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Alright now to the PSA. Submission preview. I've got a 2023 Donruss rated rookie. Aiden O'Connell numbered out of 100. And Aiden O'Connell mosaic. Blue mosaic 2023. Uh, 2023 Mosaic Tank Dell. I have 30 up there already. This is another 15. Uh, rated rookie Trevor Lawrence. I know you guys are saying, why are you sending a base? Well, it's pretty nice. It's probably a 10. I hope so. Just like this one of Brock Purdy. I'm sending one just like this. Comeback 10s. I'm going to send in this 2008 Tom Brady numbered out of 350 finally. Keep saying I'm going to do it, but finally I am going to do it. Have this Michael Jordan nuts and bolts. I know probably seen a few of these out there at card shows. There's a lot of them, but this one's pretty nice. And a Shohei Otani rookie card from the holiday. Along with those, I cracked out. I wanted to do this. this is the first time I've ever done this. I wanted to crack out and uh, see what would happen. So we're going to start with this. And this is when I got to the grill card when I started cracking these out. But first, we're going to send in this 2018 Shohei Otani from the update, I believe. 
It was a SGC9. It'll probably come back a PSA9 because they don't like giving Otani's 10s. So both of these and the one I sent in, the Legends in the Making, these will probably all come back 9s. 99% sure. Um, this 92-93 Top Stadium Club dunking over Patrick Ewing. It was an SGC 9. We're in Sinet PSA. Um, this got a modern, a 2022 Panini Prism, Khalil Shakur, black and red checkered prism. You got an SGC 9.5. We're going to send that to PSA. And when I get these back, we'll do a video, of course. Um, here's a 2019-2020 Donruss John Morant. It came back an SGC 9.5. Now this one looks pretty good. So we'll see what PSA gives that one. This one is uh, Jim Grading. These ones, they give tens to everything. So I'm not real sure what this will get because of the edges, the ridges. I'm not sure what PSA will say about this, but we're going to send that in. Uh, we have a CSG 2019 Bowman, Julio Rodriguez, first Bowman. Just the paper. But it got a CSG 9. So we're going to see what PSA will do with that one. Then. Uh, the last one. And this is what brought me to the Grail card. You know I've seen everyone talking about. For a week or two about Grail cards. And can you get a Grail card for under $500. And, and uh, to me this card is a grail card and what a grail card means to me it has nothing to do with the uh, how it's made who makes it the grail card to me was what impacted me in my life i seen i told you earlier i'd watch six hours of documentaries but i'd also watched a couple shorts newscast and uh christmas uh there was a story a gentleman married a lady that had a couple kids and he uh took and sold his uh, Dan Marino football card, rookie card. Sold it in the late 80s or the early 90s, right around that time, for $50 to help pay the bills. So I, want to, I wanted to bring that up because I wanted to let you know how much $50 was back in the late 80s. You could pay bills with $50. Um, but he sold his Dan Marino card. And on Christmas, his adopted daughter and probably was just a stepdaughter got him another Dan Marino rookie card and from the peers of it it was graded so I looked at graded Dan Marino cards rookie cards and a PSA 8 and down you can get them from $80 or less today graded the one he sold back then was raw but she got him that card, and this grown man, burly beard, broke down in tears because it's what, it's what the card meant to him. And to me, that's what Grail is. To him, that was his Grail card, no matter what the condition or anything. And to me, when I was going through these cards, I had sent this card in. I'd had this card for probably 30-some years. Yeah, 30 years. Over 30 years. And when this come out, this card, everybody had to have it. It was 30, 40. I think at one point it might have cost $50 to buy this card in the early 90s. But this card that I'm sending in is my grill card. And is it under $500? Absolutely. You can buy it raw for probably 20, 30. Graded to 10, I haven't even looked. So, we're sending in this. It's a 1990 score. Bo Jackson. 
This to me is one of the most iconic cards in my life. I know the Griffey and all that, but to me, this is my grill. I hope I get a 10. One day I will have a PSA 10. And I can guarantee it's under $500. So, can a grail card be <coughs> worth less than $500? Absolutely. Because it's not about the money. It's not about the design. If you've been collecting a long time, and all you guys have just got in, you'll, you'll find out over time that there'll be a card that you just can't get out of your head. It has nothing to do with money, but it's the time that it happens in your life. And So Grail to me has nothing to do with money. Guess what I got today? Uh, I'm going to send them off. We'll get them back. I'll let you know if they come back. I'm going to keep these right here. You guys will see them every video. You know I ain't going to mess with them. There's the cards. We're going to send them out today. Uh, the other ones I should have back in about five weeks. So we'll get to them. Uh, Friday. I will go over this. And the plans for 2024. And go over the things we're going to get to. Also, I wanted to get to this card. I mentioned this one. This is the one that's damaged that I got back from the grading company. I want to talk about uh, grading submission companies. The benefits. The things I don't like about them on Friday. But we're going to go over this card. Talk about scarcity uh, and why uh, things are valuable and take care of this card. Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think about the cards, about what's coming up, anything. As always, peace. Have a super great day. And why did we come here? Oh.